Today, I want to talk about a crucial document that often goes overlooked by many travel agencies when guiding their clients through the immigration process to Canada. I am Enyolu Watifei, a staff member of Maximum Travels and Tours, a reputable travel agency here in West Africa, Nigeria. This document can be a game changer for anyone planning to embark on this exciting new chapter of life in the Great White North. Yet, surprisingly, it's not always part of the conversation when people plan their immigration. In one of my previous videos, I shared some valuable insights about obtaining an international driver's license, but in this video, I'll be talking about driver's abstract and its importance. A driver's abstract, also known as driving record or driver's history, is a document that provides a detailed record of your driving history. It typically includes information such as your name, address, date of birth, driver's license number. It also includes driving violations like traffic tickets, demerit points, and any conviction or driving offenses. It would also um, you know, contain details about any period when your driver's license was suspended or revoked. Also, information on any accident you were involved in while driving would be included in case there is any. As a Nigerian trying to immigrate to Canada, you may be required to provide a driver's abstract as part of the application process, particularly if you plan to drive in Canada. Now, here are some of the situations when you might need a driver's abstract. First is the driver's license exchange. If you want to exchange your Nigerian um, driver's license for a Canadian one, the immigration authorities may request a driver's abstract to assess your driving history and determine whether you are eligible for a Canadian driver's license without taking a driving test. Another reason you might need it is employment. Some employers in Canada, especially those in transportation or logistics industry, may request a driver's abstract as part of their hiring process to evaluate your driving skills and history. Another reason you might need a driver's abstract is for insurance purposes. When obtaining a car in Canada, insurance company may ask for a driver's abstract to assess your risk profile and set appropriate insurance rates. And proof of driving experience is also one of the reasons because a driver's abstract can serve as proof of your driving experience which may be necessary for certain jobs or official purposes. However, in general, here are the typical steps you could follow to obtain a driver's abstract. You will need to reach out to the Office of the Federal Road Safety for FRIC or the State Traffic Management Authority, for instance, Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, LASMA, or anyone for your state uh, that issued your driver's license. Now, the specific office will depend on where you obviously obtain your driver's license. You will likely need to provide personal information such as your name, driver's license, number, date of birth, and especially other details to verify your identity and retrieve your driving record. Please note that there is usually a fee associated with obtaining a driver's abstract. The fee can vary from state to state, so be prepared to pay the specific amount. The processing time for obtaining the driver's abstract may vary, but it should be provided to you once your application is processed and the necessary checks are completed. Once your application is approved, you will receive your driver's abstract. Ensure that it is an official certified document as you may need to submit it for various purposes, including immigration to Canada. I hope you watched the video to the end because it is important to empower ourselves with knowledge and take a step forward in making our Canadian dream a reality. As one of your friendly guides here at Maxwell Travels and Tours, we are committed to ensuring your journey is filled with excitement and success. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any valuable information that can make a world of difference. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.